Welcome back, everybody, where things are just working as usual. And Paul is definitely not laying on a... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. you, you couldn't time that up any better. You, you couldn't time okay. that up any better. <laughs> I, well, it just, uh, it froze. Oh, it said connection interrupted. <clears throat> oh. Probably my fault. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I think we're going to assume that. <laughs> this point i take that out so i can actually hear <laughs> uh i don't know what just happened here brad i i had a, a complete hardware malfunction i don't know was it the hardware up here or like the hardware a little bit of both a little <clears throat> bit of both. Yeah. i tried to call paul and he kept saying one more one more minute one more minute one more minute i give up <laughs> i literally looked at the clock and it was uh it was 12 57 mm-hmm and I said, oh, I should probably make sure that this Skype video thing is set up correctly. And I went into Skype video settings and it said, no microphone found. I'm like, Let's okay, start. I'll reboot. And I rebooted and then it wouldn't work at all. Hmm. So I'm going to go figure that out later. Sounds like uh, a good Friday afternoon activity. Just oh, by later I mean Sunday. Um, oh. <laughs> oh. And by and by Sunday he really means um, Next Monday time. morning at about yeah yeah ten fifty eight right before I call him. <clears throat> like right, it's like oh we got to do that. Like, oh shoot, yeah, that, 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 you know, yeah. And to Mister Aria Electric, it says use Teams. Um, well, until <laughs> Teams supports Skype Federation, which supposedly is coming in the first half of next year. Yeah, that is uh, not really a possibility. Until, until that happens. I mean, there are definitely other things we could use. Yeah. But but I will say, uh, you know, because we use this every day and mm -hmm. I use this with Windows Weekly, like I find it slightly irritating when you have to use like a different thing mm -hmm. that's the same, yeah, that performs yeah. the same function as something you already use, you know? I mean, Skype works. It's, that may not be Skype's yeah. fault. Might just be Windows. Right. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure it's not <laughs> Skype's fault. I think yeah. it's my computer. There's something horribly wrong with that computer. So. We've got that going on, which is convenient because there's not a lot else going on today. It's been a pretty, yeah. I mean, I hate to say it, but you wrote a pretty decent article about uh, a version of Windows called Android that never came to be. Asteroid. Oh, was it Asteroid? I thought it was Android. Man, that was going to be a lot more fun to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've so that came up. I had... I forgot I had this stuff. Like I have um, Microsoft's internal planning documents for Cairo and for those three mm -hmm. versions of Windows NT. I, compl I forgot I had them. So the Cairo article I had written, you know, a couple of weeks ago, whenever that was, mm -hmm. was not written <laughs> with that information uh, at my side. So I'm going to go back and revisit that because there, I mm -hmm. noticed a couple of things in there that would be kind of nice to add to the article. Um, but I've always been fascinated by that kind of stuff, you know, the, sure. the direction. There's a lot of this stuff in Microsoft's history, too, not just Windows, but, mm. you know, certain directions they were going to go in or started down, you know, like the Visual J++ is like that. Mm -hmm. um, that is, <laughs> I mean, I feel like nobody cares about this topic, and I, I don't mean to bore people, but. <laughs> I no, do. But, no, no, I mean, I mean, uh, the, the Java J++ thing specifically, oh. but, but. Um, I, I, I mean this very honestly, like that was some of the best work that Microsoft ever did. And it, it's, it's, it's weird because it was, you know, or obviously they, they did it to screw sun and to, you know, divide Java, but it's very clear that the people at Microsoft who had to make the Microsoft version of Java and to make the developer environment, um, saw how awesome this language was and they you know it, it's amazing it's amazing so it, it's like it, for people who dismissed v visual basic because it was kind of a toy language mm -hmm. the second version of visual j plus plus was visual basic but with a sophisticated programming language like it's it's astonishingly good it, it's it's excellent. And, you know, I was a big Delphi guy. And yeah. one, of the, one of the attractions to Delphi was the sophistication of Object Pascal and mm -hmm. the elegance of their framework, which was the VCL, the Visual Component uh, Library. Um, this is just as good. <laughs> and I don't think anyone, it's gone. You know, it only it was only in the market for a couple of years, you know. Hmm. It's just gone. It's just gone just like that. 
Just like your color. What I know. laptop are you using? Surface Book 2. It's not a good... Your, uh, the, the white balance, maybe it's... I don't know. I, I, I think what it is is when you come on screen, it, it mm -hmm. changes the tone of the light hitting my face. And so the camera's trying to adjust. Mm -hmm. Stupid. It's doing it poorly. Also, I'm not, I'm not sold on the blur background thing. Yeah. Well, you're going to be able to replace it soon with like beach scenes and. Yeah. That's going to make it excellent. <laughs> that's what, that's what I need. We can put you in a library. Mm hmm. Where Surrounded by visual J plus plus books. You could do every podcast from an Apple store if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that. Yeah. That's, I like the subversive nature of that. Yeah, there, there, there's not a lot going on other than Apple discontinued its book of its own pictures of its own stuff. <laughs> I mean, uh, the most quintessentially Apple thing ever. Well, the credit card maybe. Is see, possible. what would be great is if you use the credit card as a bookmark as you're just thumbing through that thing. No, I think there's a warning about using it near paper. <laughs> um, there is, uh, today of course, is the day that the Note 10 becomes available. Oh, yeah. It's also the day you can pre-order a, I think it's called a Tabs. S6 tablet, rolls, which is like an iPad Pro type yeah. device. Rolls off the tongue. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, we'll see. I'm I, Like I said, I think yesterday, I, you know, I, I'm switching up the 10 for the 10 Plus. So, mm -hmm. hopefully, um, I don't actually have to wait weeks and weeks for that to happen. But I feel like I could walk into a store and just buy it today. But, of course, the advantage of what I'm doing is the, the trade-in and... Not spending all those dollars yeah. up front. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. fun, fun. There was something else that was going on too, and I cannot remember. It was that important. <laughs> it's really nothing. I mean, no, oh, I don't know. My wife came home yesterday and asked if we were getting an Apple card, and I told her to get out of the house. <clears throat> <Nice>. <laughs> that was. That was after she texted me a picture of a supercharger that was at the Costco. Yeah, what was, what's was, the, what is the point of that? So you can go do your shopping and get your car charged. No, of her sending you a picture of it. Is she mocking you? I mean, what, what, No, what's... she knows that I want a Tesla at some right. point in my life. And so, yes, it's basically her just mocking me. I mean, that's... Wow, that's hurtful. Yeah. And then I, I told my daughter a... that my car currently runs on dead dinosaurs. And she's like, that's not nice. <laughs> they have feelings or had feelings. Did they? Uh, we Did don't they? even know. They were giant feathered birds. Yeah. I guess just... birds probably have feelings. I bet they tasted like chicken. I mean, <laughs> oh man, there, there's just what's going on in the chat room, folks. <laughs> wow. Uh, Paul is laying somewhere. Paul needs some Grecian two thousand. I don't even. Yeah, I. I, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Grecian. It's like a hair formula thing. I think it yeah. doesn't make. Is it like for gray hair or just to keep it like slicked back or something? I don't just even know. Slicked back, like you know there what I mean, like is, the. There is a parent in my daughter's class mm -hmm. that if you were in Cincinnati, you'd be like, that's Andrew's Arian. Like it is, it is, I was like, where's right. that? Where like, does he wear a black tuxedo? Oh yeah. Well, like dark, like dead on. The only thing that's missing is, um, just the wrestling podcast, I guess. And then it would be Andrew. I mean, that's, well, I, I, did, I often like, see people who look like Andrew, like I'll like, we'll be out in the world somewhere and I'll be like, oh, there's the Andrew's Arian of. Insert mm -hmm. name of place, you know. My wife's like, she's like, why are you staring at him? Like, I need to talk to him. <laughs> I need to find out if Andrew, he's related. Right. Because it's, um, yeah. Uh, there are other things going on, such as if you, no, there'll be a link, I think, down below if I remember to do it. Mm -hmm. um, if you want some free throughout premium, there's that offer going on, which you can find the details of. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, I was looking through... Um, <clears throat> the ask Paul thing for, for later today. Mm -hmm. And someone asked me about, uh, that programming window series and whether it, it would be turned into a book. And yep. that's something that we've now kind of talked about officially. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I mean, yes. And I don't know how or when I it, honestly, it, it's going to be, I mean, I'm not even halfway through it. Right. So yeah. I don't know how, to, I don't know what the timing can be, or maybe there, maybe it will be like a part one, part two kind of thing. I'm not really mm -hmm. sure, but I guess the other thing I feel 
no, let's hold on to that. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but um, yeah, because this isn't just a premium thing. This is for everybody. So yeah, um, yeah. But anyway, yes. Uh, so if you're not a premium member, um, I guess you'll be able to read the series in book form. I mean, you'll have to pay mm. for it, but it's not. It's not going to be you know, like how much do you charge for your book? The uh, surface book? ten bucks, I think. Yeah, it's not. It's going to be something like that. It's not going to be expensive. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that'll be to to be determined, right? That'll <laughs> Yeah. I mean just because oh, yeah. you don't know when you're gonna be done. It's he's yeah. literally writing it chapter by chapter, which is how you typically write a book. I mean, that's not crazy, but Yeah. And what I fu- well the thing is so you know, so we were just kind of talking about this earlier. So the thing that's interesting about this to me, other than the obvious stuff, mm-hmm. is you know, as you go like yeah, I mean it's sort of roughly writing it in order, but the truth is like every once in a while something will pop up and I'll be like, oh this kind of belongs back, you know, with yep. something I did a long time ago. So that's, that happens, you know? Oh yeah. Um, you know, I did a, I do a little co- like really super simple, like stupid code things. Um, if I'm talking about a programming language or whatever, and I had done that for JavaScript. And then after I wrote about internet Explorer, it kind of occurred to me, I need to have a basic article just about HTML and probably about CSS. And that should have come before JavaScript, <laughs> you know, cause that would be the natural progression. So I probably will fill that stuff in as I go. But, you know, I mean, I go through my own archives and obviously I'm going through things on the web. I'm doing a lot of research mm-hmm. for this stuff. And every once in a while you just pop up with something and be like, oh, geez, this would have been helpful, yeah. <laughs> you know, two weeks ago or whatever. But that's the nice thing about it because if it, you know, if you think about it as a book, it wouldn't matter when you wrote something. It's right. just weird because I'm doing it kind of live on the web. Mm-hmm. So I know for people who are interested in this stuff, I guess it's just the, you know, it's just the natural way of things. You know, you, if you, you write it, even a basic article, like a news mm-hmm. story on the web, you might write it from top to bottom like I do. Yep. But, you know, you'll, as you go, sometimes you kind of go back and like, oh, this needs to be up here, you know, and then you just extrapolate that out. I mean, a book, a book is hundreds of pages. It's going to be, it's a, you can't, you can't start with intro and then the end. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. It never does. It's always yeah. good in practice, but never in theory. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that Google's creepily listening to this podcast, oh, but, but in the, the, and granted, we are pumping this through YouTube, so they're probably, I'd, mm-hmm. I'd, be, I'd be amazed if they are doing real-time scraping of our audio to do suggested videos. But that being <laughs> said, mm-hmm. right now, up next in the autoplay playlist, uh, video number one is visualbasic.net search and access database. Next one is programming and visual basic.net how to access and then something or other. That's crazy. It really is. Unless you've been secretly studying visual basic on the side and I don't know about it. I can't say that I am. No, but that's crazy, right? There, there's an article in the New York times today about this topic. Somebody, um, as part of a months long experiment at the times mm-hmm. ran a version. There's a, I guess there's a special Firefox uh, version that uh, details all of the tracking that occurs and uh, it's everyone sort of understands like we're being tracked mm-hmm. and and this type of thing you're talking about which you know is a very actually a really crazy example of it yeah um, I don't think people understand the extent of it and I you know and even I sort of didn't I mean it I don't remember the name of the article but it's in the uh, the paper today or you know I'm sure it's on their site today but um, it's it's incredible, like the web of tracking that occurs sure. across sites, and interestingly, like news sites, like the New York Times, are among mm-hmm. the worst offenders. Um, and it all has to do, obviously, it has to do with advertising. Like the the goal is you want to attract people to products that they're going to like. So I, <laughs> I randomly mentioned Visual Basic, and now you're getting mm-hmm. Visual Basic ads. No, the only thing I have been watching or, in in yeah. significant amount mm-hmm. is um. Trying to learn about vapor barriers when you're doing a basement. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently, Paul, this is a controversial yeah. subject. That not okay. everybody, not everybody believes that you need a vapor barrier along the walls in a basement. So, is this tied to the um, the radon thing? Like some people think this is the worst possible problem, and some people are like eh, doesn't mean anything. I, I want to. I don't know. It just, it's just some people are like you don't need it. The house will in a properly ventilated basement. It's fine. Um, you, they're saying you need to be more worried about air. I don't know. Um, we will. I think if you're going to spend time in this, like my daughter sleeps in the basement and, and mm-hmm. my dad at one point, well, he was the person that did over that part of the basement. Yeah. So I know it wasn't done correctly. And I, 
I worry about air quality down there for mm-hmm. sure. Like it's something I actually really worry about. Like we, not in her actual room, but this kind of a, well, it used to be an office, I guess. And it, we use it as just an exercise room, but it's kind yeah. of between the bathroom and the bedroom now. And, um, I just, I put like a, um, oh geez, a dehumidifier down there. And, sure. um, my God, that thing just cranks moisture oh, yeah. out of the air at a rate that is, I mean, somewhat alarming. It's like, mm-hmm. is it, it, like it would, it would just revert to like this dank dungeon, you know, mm-hmm. if left to its own devices. Yeah. Cause there's no airflow in your it, most commonly yeah. in most basements, there's no airflow, right? You don't have yeah. windows that are open like you do upstairs and all most people right. like HVAC just blows into their upstairs. They don't have yep. it down at the floor level. There's, it's just poor circulation. That's yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, it's definitely a problem. Yeah. One of the things that, um, I did learn about radon, which this was, everybody should do their own opinion. I'm not giving any advice to anybody because somebody's going to write me and tell me about this. So radon came about roughly about the same time as nuclear reactors. Um, because what, how, what happened was, is people have radon in their basement. I'm sure they're, I'm sure I'm basking it in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because we live on granite and so that's just how it is. So people, right. When they're building a nuclear reactor, they put the little tags on people and then they make sure they don't get exposed at work to increased okay. levels of radiation. Yep. Well, people at their house had radon in their basement and those <laughs> tags would trip when they would come back yep. in. So immediately it was assumed that the radon in your basement was like killing you. Just yeah, like, like you're, yeah, you're yeah, done. Yeah. Um, the reality of it is, is that those tags were so sensitive. It, it got blown out of proportion that, Hey, yes, people have radon in their basement that I'm not saying they don't, but right. the level that it's there is not going to kill you. Trust me. You're, you're going to die by either secondhand smoke uh, by the sure. sun, like if radon kills you, you've done something very, very wrong or very right, maybe, and live your life like perfectly because right. there's much right. more Because you lived so long that radon, radon was the thing that got you. Interesting. Yeah. My father was very sensitive about radon. He, um, he we have a crazy radon thing in our house that, um, mm-hmm. actually runs off power and it, you can watch the gauge and it's in the, uh, yeah. garage for some reason, but he was really concerned about this. Like, I, apparently, Pennsylvania, or maybe just this part of Pennsylvania or something, is built on. I think it's limestone, is what we have here. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I guess it's a it's a hotbed area for radon. Um, right, and I'm I'm not saying it's not a concern. Like, it, it's definitely a thing. It's just the exposure. Oh no, I'm not. It I'm was, not sure it's a concern. I actually don't know. I I because you hear from both sides. I mean, right. You know. The consensus is is that hey yes you do get exposed to it but you get exposed to a lot worse stuff on a daily basis than the radon. You have to get tested for this, don't you? When you buy a house, like isn't that mm-hmm. like part of the one of the yep. things that has to happen? Yep, and all that all a radon vent does is basically just circulates air. That it yeah. sucks because yeah. radon. What happens is it's heavier, and it, it sinks, and it yeah, just... you want it to disperse into the atmosphere, basically. Yep, or into your neighbor's house if you don't like them. <laughs> Well, I will tell you, um, there's <laughs> 90% of Pennsylvania is corn. And if I, I'm sure most of it goes to feed for animals, but a, a yep. lot of it goes to people as well. So I'm sure you're ingesting it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's every. I mean, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's just you, everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you go walk outside, UV rays. What do you think that stuff is? It's not. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's whatever. Um, you know, as I'm sitting here smoking a cigar, <laughs> drinking my whiskey, telling you radon's going to be the thing that kills you. <laughs> like it's. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking. I don't know. Anyways, our roof is like happening in like two weeks. I don't even remember yeah. if we talked about this. I know you yeah. and I did, but I don't think on the air. I'm getting a new roof, folks. By by a previous. So I think, <laughs> what? I think the guy's coming today to inspect our roof, actually, mm-hmm. for the for the hail thing. Yeah. So interestingly, usually they, they told me. Well, I talked to the guy today. The scheduling guy is like, it's going to happen in one to two weeks. Like I have a small yeah. house. They, they said they can do the whole roof in a day. They bring out like ten guys. Yep. do it they're also doing some chimney work uh, but because unlike your location it's been really sunny like we've gotten very little rain this summer mine wow. after june like after june ended oh no it's like, rained here pretty steadily yeah, like all of july was very dry um, yeah. all of august has been relatively dry and so they have gaps in their scheduling now because they plan for rainy days and and whatever and he's like look yeah. he's like if you don't mind we can call you 48 hours in advance. We'll just come out yep. or you yep. can pick a day now in October. I was like, yeah, it's like, I don't care. I've, uh, you know, we, uh, in our old house, uh, <clears throat> how did this go down? I, 
Hopefully with nails and glue. Well, no, I was. I, I, I want. I'm trying to remember if it was one or two incidents, but we yeah. had, um, you know, replaced the roof at one point, or the, you know, like the shingling or whatever. And it's just, you know, your basic. Hmm. What do you call it? What are those things made of? It's like asphalt or something. Yeah. Like, uh, yep. That whatever that material is, cheap, you know. But mm-hmm. uh, we had that huge damage during the 2015 winter with all of the ice, and uh, it got inside the house and got in the walls, got in the windows, and huge, huge problem. Mm-hmm. And I probably would have, I'm, I'm sure we discussed this at some point, but like when we moved, uh, which was two years later, right? Yeah, two years later, two yeah. years ago, they did the house inspection and they came down from the attic and they were like, one of the beams up in the attic is broken and that has to, you know, it has to be fixed, obviously. Mm-hmm. And it was like a freaking huge, like a really thick, like, you know, the one of the cross pieces like yeah. up on the on, on the roof. And very clearly, it was the guys who were up on the roof in the in the in the winter. They were jumping around, and somehow, through the, between the weight of the snow and those guys or whatever, they like broke a beam up there. And um, turns out, the people buying the house had a friend who was a contractor, so he was able to do it for cheaper than mm-hmm. would have been normal. So we just you know paid them that cost as part of the transaction. But I guess what I'm trying to say is. Uh, you work at home, so you'll be yep. around when this happens. Um, just, you know, pay attention to it. I'm just going to sit a bunch in the of... attic and we'll just watch the beams. Well, just listen. No. I mean, you'll, be, yeah. you'll hear them up there. I mean, it's crazy. Like, they're like circus performers when they go up mm-hmm. on the roof and do this stuff. It's it's amazing to watch, but yep. I was just surprised by this. Like, it never even occurred to me that something like that could have happened. Well, we will find out. We will find out here in the next couple of weeks. That's, um... yeah, we'll see. All right. Do you got anything else for today, Mr. Paul? I got nothing. Um, okay. uh, Samson Dex, I've been playing with that. Um, I'll probably write that up today. I've got a Chromebook thing to write up. I've got Ask Paul to do. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Samson Dex, short version. Performance is not good. Hmm. And the Skype mic to fix. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, man, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll put it All in. right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this very in-depth conversation about <laughs> shingles, roofing, radon, and a little bit about Windows history. We'll catch all of you back here on Monday.